start to cool things down and gently lower down the temperature of everything until it's cold enough that we start getting a liquid level. Once you actually get a liquid level, then you can start to go more, more cold. Um, okay. So, uh, in the meantime, so I haven't put exchange gas in there. So I'm just So, so how much are you putting, giving? Usually I try to put a tour in. Unfortunately, the, uh, on the other system, we have a nice needle valve that I can very gently let things in. Here I'm using this horrible uh, uh, valve for putting the putting mm -hmm. exchange gas in. So it's, I, I generally I, I put too little or too much in. So you can see I put in about 500 millitor, but it's, uh, since it's so cold, it will mm -hmm. mm -hmm. come down quite a bit. So 500 millitor, it's, uh, it's the pressure uh, it's equilibrate equil 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 with uh, the vacuum can, right? It's, uh, it's the pressure inside the vacuum can. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so this, this is going to the vacuum can right now. Uh -huh. uh, so it's the vacuum can plus the lines going. Right. Yeah, I remember in, in, in the manual they usually say it's like a, a few Cubit uh, centimeters. Yeah, I don't know what that. They have a bladder, I think, which actually came with the system. Right. Right. Stuff in, but, uh, right by here. That's, we'll, we'll see what that ends up. But actually, later we can still use a uh, uh, big detector to pump out this, uh, this exchange gas yeah. when we are at 4K. Yeah, I, I like using the same amount uh, just because it's another uh, thermometer as to what's going on in the system. Um, so I think usually, I, like as as the as we transfer helium gets really cold, I think at about uh, I can check the log, but but somewhere at about 40 millitor. I, is when I start to pump out. I mean, you, the issue is that your your main thermometer here is the sorb thermometer, uh, which is what we're going to be watching. But we need to keep the sorb above 20 uh, to keep it warm so it doesn't start pumping. So at about that temperature, about you know 20 uh, Kelvin, I lose my thermometer here, but I still have an effective thermometer here, which is useful. All right. So Eric, maybe, yeah, maybe lower a little bit more because Absolutely we don't hear that sound, right? That clicking sound. <laughs> you don't want to hear it? Yeah, it'll go a little faster. Do another inch or two. I've done like three inches. Is it going? I mean, uh, put, put that side a little bit lower because uh, then you will cool from the uh, bottom to cool the bottom first. Then you, you it's more efficient. Yeah, as you get more, you should that, that the thing which goes into the door itself should uh, as you get more slack, just as low as possible. Yeah, you don't want to you don't want to stress the um, that kind of tube you're holding on to the right hand too much. I mean, if you if you push the one in the door too much, you start bending that. Right, bottling sound. The other thing I want to do, uh, you get after you get the sound right now, you get used to this, but you should always be listening for a sound. So something that can happen yeah. is like if this seal is not good, 
you need to hear a big snare. So if you hear like hissing sounds and stuff, like that. Or that can be a big snare. Yeah, let's listen. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. 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 That's when you're moving it, you're, you're disrupting the signal. That's, yeah. that's fine, but it's just like, so. Is that something you can do? Why well, should keep one on your So that's, is that speeding up too much? Yeah. You may not have even, uh, well, I'm not sure whether you even hit the liquid bubble. You may have hit that earlier. Yeah. Well, keep going down. I mean, keep, I, I would keep the, uh, Give people a different measure. But I, I, would, I would keep that going over at a rate like uh, that or something. Okay. So I would go, I would push a little faster. And there's, there's a little bit of lag, so you know, push it down a few more seconds, wait uh, 25 seconds to see it. It speeds up a lot. Not Uh, so the leaf detector uses a turbo pump, which is this high, you know, it's a rather delicate high speed spinner. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, and it's, it's sort of not too advisable to uh, move it around while it's spinning all the time. Uh, because if it starts jiggling around, then that wheel, like, you know, it's, yeah. uh, it's going at like uh, 3,000 pounds and it can damage it. So, you, know, you shouldn't move it too much uh, until, and so even after it turned off, it takes a lot of spin down. Uh, so usually you like, want to wait like five minutes. It's probably it's probably well enough designed since since they knew it was being put on the wheels that uh, that's not too much of a major. But where do you want to put it? Oh. I'm just putting it out of the way. Okay. okay. Yeah, another way is just to to use this uh, gauge to monitor the pressure, right? So right now it's uh, like uh, roughly 0.5 psi mm -hmm. above the atmosphere. So, so that that's okay as long as it's uh, below one, it uh, should be fine. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, yeah. Is the early system usually is manual. This one is uh, with a mo motor, but uh, here's, here's the yeah, here's the point. But there, there was some problem with this motor, so we we have to sometimes manually adjust this. We uh, need a while. You, you kicked us off most recently. So what was that? <laughs> we're stuck again, or what was? I, I forgot. Probably it was uh, not. Besides, I think that uh, that motor might introduce some noise or something. Yeah, I don't really. There's really very little reason to have it. Uh, right. Uh, except it's a little nice, easier to adjust, this but it's quantified. But right. Once that fridge is running at full speed, it's mm. 